All right, so, um, Stripper Chronicles. Stripper Chronicles. It's been a long ass motherfucking time since I posted one of these. Let me tell y'all why. So, first off, I ain't been posting no Stripper Chronicles because I ain't been stripping that much. Second, I ain't posting no Stripper Chronicles because ain't really no out of pocket shit happening for me to just be like, oh my fucking god, let me tell y'all this because some of y'all really think that stripping is the fuck easy, but it ain't. And then another reason why I ain't been stripping like that is because like I've been doing other shit, like actually doing my job. The reason why I started stripping to begin with. So, um, if I ain't a stripper, I can't post no stripper chronicles. But tonight, the past few days, I realized something. I forgot something in my algorithm. So, remember the algorithm I gave y'all a little while ago, but a while ago back? And it was just like, y'all want to know how much money strippers make? And it's based off, like, the sun, the weather, blah, 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 blah. I forgot to tell y'all that it, like, it matters about the amount of bitches that you working with, too. Like, so put it like this. When you go on stage, all right, you get there, you go on stage, you're on stage for, like, 8 to 15 minutes plus, depending on the club, whatever, whatever. You walk around, you collect your tips, and then after that, it's just like, you stuck on the floor the next time you gotta go to fuck on stage. So, depending on how many girls you got, like, all right, so your average rotation is about, like, between 30 minutes to an hour. Cool. But if you got, like, 55 hoes working, it's gonna be, like, two hours. Now, if you got 55 hoes working, and it's a slow day at the club, girl, bitch. Like, no, that ain't it. So, um, here are some tips that get me through those days. Now, remember, like I said, and like I say in every single video, that what works for one stripper might not work for the next. What work for you might not work for me. What work for me might not work for you. But y'all motherfuckers are always asking me questions, so I got the answers sometimes, I think. <laughs> um, fuck, where was I going with that? Oh, so, <laughs> all right, so on those really slow days, here's like how I usually get through them. For the most part, I sit there and play on my phone any fucking way, whether it's a good day or a bad day, I'm playing the fuck on my phone because I ain't got time for them motherfuckers there. Cool. Period. Now let y'all know that. Um, so every single club has their regulars. And I'm not saying like the strippers regulars to like somebody popped up in a club one day and they just decided to spend a lot of motherfucking money on that particular stripper. And then that one motherfucker specifically comes to that club on whatever schedule to see that specific stripper. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the motherfuckers that's going to be inside of that club, whether it's rain, snow, sleet, or the motherfucking apocalypse. They the motherfuckers I'm talking about. <laughs> so, every club has their, like, every single club has those guys that are there no matter what the fuck is going on because they ain't got nothing better to do. Being as though they don't got nothing better to do and I got 16 motherfucking personalities... I make friends with those people. I figure out what type of fucking friend they what they fucking want. You know why? Because no matter what, on the motherfucking slow days, I know for a fact I can be like, "Hey yo, Polly with the parrot, quack quack, motherfucker." Oh shit, that's not that's not uh, what a parrot say. But anyway, what the fuck? I can be like, "Polly with the parrot, what's up? How you doing today? Your parrot got a new word? No, fuck, shit, damn. Well, can I get twenty dollars?" <laughs> Like, that's not really how it go, but, like, y'all get what I'm saying. It's just, like, the people that's always in there, make friends with them because they always there. So that's, like, 10 to $15 or an extra 20 to $40 that you can always count on. Like, all right, um, the fuck did the demon just get in my phone? Yo, the demon is in my phone. This bitch is flickering. Um, okay, pause. Now press play. Let me wrap this the fuck up. What else the fuck I gotta put inside this one stripper chronicle? Um, the regulars at the club don't got regulars. Da -da -da -da. 
um, bounce back and forth, blah, 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 ding dong. Um, I'm gonna smoke a blunt and get the demon out my phone. I'm gonna see y'all on the next Stripper Chronicle, which is gonna be coming shortly after this one, which is another, actually one that should have been posted a long ass motherfucking time ago, but I don't be feeling like editing, so y'all will be okay. Um, yeah, let me get high and let this demon get out my phone. I'll see y'all later.